So welcome back to Freedom and Hours, and here again, great to have you back with us for another episode. So today we're going to look at how to attract wealth through your mind. Now the biggest factor to success that is blocking us is actually ourselves. A lot of people don't realize that we have a powerful thing at our disposal that allows us to create unlimited wealth. And by harnessing that force, it will allow us to have incredible and unlimited wealth. So in this episode, we're going to look at how to use your mind to create wealth. I'm going to look at the things you can do to create the destiny that you desire. Now, see, so we've actually got the ability to create the life of always dreamed within us right now. And the reason being is it's our subconscious mind. So currently you think in the consciousness. So the conscious mind is what you think about on a day-to-day -day basis. But your subconscious is a 95% of what sits in the background that determines the success you have. So in this episode, we're going to look at how to, your mind creates success that you're after. We'll go through the steps to identify what you're thinking. We're going to look at how to focus where you need to focus on and what the benefits of this will be for you. So all this coming up at Freedom in Hours. And make sure you like the video, subscribe to our channel. And for those on your podcast, make sure you click on the podcast link. Well, anyway, let's jump in and look at it right now. Great, so what we're discussing before is how our mind can create success for you. Now the challenge we've got in our day-to-day -day life is most people run on autopilot. This means that they just allow their life to just go where it directs them. Now we do think consciously, don't get me wrong, but let's go and take the example of Fred, um, a friend of mine. So every morning Fred gets up, um, and I have changed his name just for privacy purposes, Fred gets up and decides to go into his day. He gets up, makes his coffee, puts the news on, drives to work, Processes his paperwork, does his phone calls, comes home, puts his dinner on, watches the TV, sees his family on weekends. But you've got to think, what is Fred actually doing to consciously change the world around him? See, all the time while he's doing all those things, Fred has all these different inputs coming into his life. So people are saying things to him, people directing him to do it, but Fred's not actually taking control of what his subconscious mind's thinking. So if you think about success, so say from wherever you are in your life, so say you are sitting in a job, um, and you want to have a business and become wealthy. So how are you going to be able to come to do that? Do you sit there and think, okay, I'm going to go and read a book, go and meet someone, or are you going to go and make your subconscious mind focus on what you need? Okay, so your subconscious mind makes up 95% of what you think. Um, do you ever see why, you know, driving a car, for example, do you think about everything you do driving a car? Do you put the steering wheel on, change your gears, put it to ignition, go on, look what you're doing? No, you don't. And if you remember when you first started driving a car, how difficult it was. All the things you had to do. Um, I remember myself, I was driving an old Holden Gemini, and um, it was crazy, you know, just the, the brain power involved. But as you got to drive the car, you learnt more, your subconscious mind does it for you. Now the thing is, our subconscious mind is always working for us. Our brain is the most powerful computer on the planet. Um, actually, they haven't actually been able to create a computer similar, so at the moment we have the most powerful resource at our disposal that can just create the life that we've always wanted. But what do we do with it? Well, we just go to jobs and just do nine to five jobs. We just go and go through the, um, the, the motives and the routines and we never actually get up and tell our subconscious where to go. Now, uh, this can be, for example, so I don't know if you've ever, uh, see if you look at how the mind works, so if you ever got an anxious one day, for example, and if you notice you always focus on what's making you anxious. If you always notice when you've gotten down, for example, you'd be worried about how you look or your weight, and your subconscious mind just keeps on feeding it to you. See, the problem is if you focus on something long enough with enough passion, your subconscious mind will focus on that for you. And because your brain wants to look after you and wants to focus for you, it will keep on working to either fix that problem, identify the problem, or analyze it. And what happens is your whole mind then is then focused on that. And it could be anything. So say you get home from work and um, you know you, you, your partner's had a bit of an argument with you, you're a bit upset about it, you focus on it, you have lots of emotion to it, the subconscious mind starts to think about what did my partner say, what, where did they go, what happened to it, what can I do to make it better? It spins around and around and around. And this massive computer that we have at our disposal is used for that. What we need to do is take that mind and use it for success. We need to take the power of our conscious mind and use it for wealth, for abundance. So how do we do that? Well, let's start by having a, thinking about what exactly we want, what it will mean to us and having all the emotion behind that, like you did in that example of having an argument. So think to yourself, you know, one day I want to have a massive apartment overlooking the beach. Passion about having it. So you, you focus your mind on it, you think, what will I mean having it there? What was the journey I had? What did it mean to me? And then you have so much passion and excitement that your subconscious mind 
then focuses on it. Your subconscious mind then thinks to itself, what can I do to get to that? You know, what are the things I can think? What are the things I can say? You know, and it does it in the background. Now, the great thing is your subconscious mind works for you, whether you are sleeping, whether you're awake, whether you're at work, whether you watch your TV, it works on it. And the more specific you can be about it for your subconscious mind, the more it can focus on it. So say, for example, if you, and I like to use um, habits, for example. So your subconscious mind likes habits. So what it does is, I mean, the, the challenge with our minds is they're very, very powerful, but they're also very lazy. So unless you direct your subconscious mind towards a certain point, it's gonna do what it's comfortable with, what you've taught it. So for example, smoking, for example, your subconscious mind, you smoke before, it's easy for it, the patterns are there, you get pleasure from it, your subconscious mind keeps on doing it. There's no reason why to stop it, why would you? But that's when you, if you have hypno hypnosis or you realize how bad it is, it shocks your subconscious mind to a different reality. Now success is the same. If you've got to do the same thing every single day, day after day, expect a different outcome, it's not going to happen. Your subconscious mind is going to let you have the same life ticking over. But if you want to have a life of you know, success, wealth and abundance, you need to get your thinking correct. It's essential. Now this is why your mind can create success. And you hear all these things about um, you know, the, the secret, and they all focus on the abundance um, and the power of um, you creating a destiny around you by focusing your thought. And while yeah, the secret is true, um, it's kind of similar to this. They don't really talk about how it's your subconscious mind, they say that the world around you gives it to you. I believe that your subconscious mind is so powerful that it'll look for every opportunity to create wealth and success for you. So I did a video previously about the 10-day the uh, mental challenge um, to get your mind stopping the negative programming coming through. Um, I also went through the morning routines that I use every morning to get yourself focused for success. Every morning, the things that I do um, you know, to get myself there, and it all focuses around um, focusing on where I felt good, where I achieved, breathing exercises, uh, picturing myself in the future and linking emotion there um, to doing it and also learning. So make sure you check out those other things that we spoke about earlier, but just realize that your subconscious mind is so powerful. Unless we give it the directions of what we want and we're clear with it, it won't happen. Subconscious mind is so powerful to get your success. And when I began my su success with John all those years ago, I remember John would ask me questions such as, you know, what do you want, Andrew? I'd say, I want to earn a bit more money. He's like, so you're telling your subconscious mind you want to earn a little bit more money. Well, you've got to earn a little bit more money. Andrew, tell your subconscious mind what you want. And I said, John, you know, I want to be successful. I never want to work again. I want to have a, a, a true life of abundance. Um, and I kept on doing that every single day, and that's where I am today. So, you know, no matter where you are, um, you know, and no matter what you want to do, you can create wealth from wherever you are, but it starts by focusing on what, you, what you're thinking, what you're feeling on. So anyway, I hope this has helped you today. Again, check out my other videos regarding the, um, the early morning success ritual that I do every morning, uh, the 10 day challenge to kind of sort out your thinking. But remember, whatever you focus on with enough energy, enough passion, your subconscious mind focuses on and it becomes real. So keep an eye on what you're thinking um, and let me know again what you think of the videos. I've got more of a casual style now because, um, you know, it's not all about being casual, but you check out my other videos. Let me know what you think. Um, and I really appreciate you guys joining us here for another Freedom episode. Episode, but, And make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, and click the notification button. Really glad to have you back here at Freedom in Hours.